Christine, remember when we were little girls? We'd be in our room playing with our dolls, feeding them, changing them. Why was that fun? Because when you got sick of them, you could stick them in a shoebox and shove them under the bed. Well, you loved your crying Kathy doll. You must have kept her on your nightstand until you were 20. Well, that's because when I was in high school, I figured out how to unscrew her head and hide my diaphragm in its neck. I always wondered why you disappear in the bathroom with that doll. What do you think I was doing? Hey, when you're 17 and the girl's willing to have sex with you, you don't ask any questions. car parked out front. Are oh, you actually gonna have one night without them? Because I would hate that. Hello. I parked a couple houses up. You know, your lawn sprinklers are getting watermarks on my car. That's because the lawn sprinklers are working and you're not. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing, buddy? Look, Daddy stopped off and looked at some jungle gems on his way home from work. Look what I'm gonna buy you. Greg, do you really think he's ready for a fireman's pole and a rock wall? He can't even hold a sippy cup. Well, he'll grow into it. Besides, I thought we'd let Dominic test it out for a year and make sure it's safe. Good idea. I, mean, I think a jungle gym would be great, you know? I mean kids get some fresh air and some exercise and and you know if you put it outside the guest house i can watch them and ricky lake without getting out of bed i just want to make sure we don't spoil sam that's no reason to punish me hi precious daddy oh, hi sweetheart what are you doing yeah what are you doing here what am i doing here can a guy come see his daughters and grandsons and how you doing Greg? <laughs> Hey, Don, good to see you. You look skinny. Oh, well, thank you. Been sick? <laughs> Dad! Hey, there's my son-in-law. Hi. Hey, what are you doing 3,000 miles away from home, you lunatic? Oh, enjoying the perks of working for an airline. Free first class and early retirement. Oh, oh you yeah. retired? Yeah, more time to see uh, uh, kiddo and, uh, and sport and uh, bucko here. You don't know their names, do you? Well, not in order, but I'll get it. <laughs> You're retired, huh? That's surprising. You seem too young to be retired. What's that supposed to mean? What? Are you calling me lazy? No, I'm just saying that you look so young I'm that... calling you lazy, because I know you'll be on your boat all day fishing. Every chance I can get. <laughs> that is, but I'm not flying here to see you whenever I can. What? 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 Mm -hmm. I went out for milk this morning. And it occurs to me, 15 minutes to the airport, five hours on first class free, and here I am with you. Isn't this great? And here I thought we'd move so far away, we'd only get to see you a couple times a year. <laughs> Anybody else need a drink? I thought you handled that very well. Handled what? I ran away. Now I'm going to try to solve my problems by drinking. I know. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. I mean, I can't win with him. Kimmy hates me. Oh, he doesn't hate you. He's just kidding around. You know, that's his thing with you. Oh, yeah? That's his thing with me? Okay, then I need a thing with him. From now on, every time I see him, I'm going to poke him in the eye. That'll be my thing with him. Greg, we've been through this. Can't you just be the bigger person and let it go? Well, why do I always have to be the bigger person? Because I plan to do something very special for whoever acts like the bigger person. And if it ends up being my father, I'll have to marry him and move to the Ozarks. Kim, we sleep in the same bed every night. We've been married for three years. Don't you think it's a little sad that you would try to bribe me with sex? So you're saying no? I'm saying yes, but it makes me a little sad. It's got to be the best steak I've ever had. Where did you learn to cook like this, Jimmy? Yeah, I just got it hot, flipped it over. That's how your mother and I made you, Christine. Thanks, Dad. Now I can't eat or have sex. You know, Dad, Greg's the one who got these steaks. Really? Yeah, and they're very expensive. You have to order them through a catalog. You want a steak from a catalog? Oh, yeah, they're from Omaha. Uh, Greg, it's a cow. Where it lives, doesn't matter how it tastes. 
Where'd you get the salt from? Salt Lake City? <laughs> you saw this guy coming. <laughs> yeah, they saw me coming, all right. Just a big old idiot willing to pay for dinner. What did everybody think of the strawberries I brought? Oh, they're great, Dad. Delicious. Greg, you didn't have one yet. Oh, that's okay, Don. I don't like strawberries. Come on, try one. He's allergic. Oh, there we go. He's allergic to strawberries? That's ridiculous. They're good for you. Come on, eat one. I can't eat one. If I eat one, I'll get a stomachache, swell up, vomit, and then pass out. All from one little strawberry? Or aren't you a delicate little flower? <laughs> you still giving your hard time out there? Oh, it's not so bad. I think he's just a little disappointed I haven't eaten his fruit and died. <laughs> I know what you're going through, but... Would it make you feel any better if you knew why I picked on you? Yes, of course it would. Okay, he doesn't respect you. <laughs> well, that doesn't make me feel any better at all. Yeah, I was kind of surprised you thought it would. <laughs> Look, Greg, don't take it personally. He did the same thing to me in high school. Why didn't he respect you in high school? Well, I did fail geometry. And it was a big slut. <laughs> he doesn't pick on Jimmy. At least I support my family. I'm responsible. Well, that's just well, I'm not the kind of stuff that my dad respects. You know, Jimmy fixes his own car, and, and he helped my dad build an addition on his house. You know, guy stuff. I do guy stuff. I know how to fix things. Greg, you called an electrician to change a light bulb. <laughs> that was a fluorescent tube. They're very tricky to get out. I don't know where that cow came from, but I sure know where it's going. Got any reading material? Well, I'd offer you my copy of Emily Post's Book of Etiquette, but obviously you've already read it. <laughs> What's this? Mm. It's just a jungle gym brochure. Look what they charge for this. California. What idiot would buy this when you can make it yourself? Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? You didn't think I was going to buy one of those, do you? You're not? No, I'm not going to waste thousands of dollars on one of those things. I'm gonna build it myself. You? Yeah, me. <laughs> Joking. No, I mean, why do you think I got this brochure? I'm using it as a template. When are you gonna do this? Tomorrow. Really? Yeah, I've been planning it for weeks. That'll be fun. Yeah. So now I can help you. Oh, thanks, Don, but I'm a little particular when it comes to construction. Hey, Greg, this is a very big job. Don, take it easy. It's a jungle gym. <laughs> fine. You wanna do it yourself? Fine with me. You sure you got the proper tools? Please, I got a whole drawer full. <laughs> you all right with that, Greg? Uh, yeah, Don, it's just this damn pressure-treated wood is so hard, it's like drilling into a rock. You sure you got the bit going in the right direction? <laughs> yes. Listen, Greg, I think you're tap dancing down Jackass Alley here. <laughs> Why don't you come to San Diego with us before you drill a hole in yourself that you weren't born with? Well, thanks, but I should get this done. Come on, come to the zoo. We're flying first class. And then tomorrow, if you let Jimmy and us help you, the thing will be up for the kids by tomorrow night. Don, if you just let me get to work here, they'll be playing on it tonight. Dad, everyone's getting in the car. Yeah, okay, let's go, bucko. Daddy's not bucko. He's kiddo. If he gets my name right, I'll get his name right. Bye, Sammy. Have a good time. Greg. Is this really necessary? Yes, Kim, it is. I'm going to show your father I can do all the stupid things that he respects. I'm sick and tired of him making fun of me just because he thinks I can't do things around the house. Well, you did call the electrician when the kitchen... That went... was a fluorescent tube. <laughs> Now go on, have a good time at the zoo. All right. Jimmy, are you coming? Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. I don't want to go to the stupid zoo. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Dominic's at that age where I'm going to have to have that whole daddy, what's the monkey doing to himself discussion. <laughs> so don't go. I can't just not go. Hey, why don't you go out there and tell Christine you need my help? Because I don't need your help. Dude, I'm not going to actually help you. Just tell her I am. No, I don't want anyone to think that I had any help. I want to do this on my own. Well, aren't you forgetting something? What? You can't do this on your own. 
Yes, I can. If you and Don can do it, any idiot can do it. Oh, fine. Now I'm an idiot? Okay, genius. Do it by yourself. But uh, here's a little tip. You might want to get a skull head pivot driver to put those brackets in with. Well, as a matter of fact, I was just going down to the hardware store to get a skull head pivot driver. Well, if you can't find it, look in the tools that don't exist because my brother-in-law made it up section. <laughs> Good, because I would have felt bad about laughing if you were hurt. <laughs> Can you just get me out of here before Don come? Hey, Don, how you doing? What are you doing on the day? Just, just putting the finishing touches on her. Want to give me a hand hoisting her up? What do you think, Don? Should we help him out? I don't know. I don't know. Greg, he, he's very particular when it comes to construction. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't take a genius to get out from under there, you know. <laughs> Any idiot figure it out. <laughs> Somebody please get me out of here. <sighs> ah, this is flimsy. What'd you use with these? I use screws, just like it said in the plans. These are drywall screws. You need heavy duty screws. Or half inch galvanized lag bolts. Yeah, and he's gonna need a ratchet set. Yeah, you got a ratchet set in your tool chest? No, but I got a swing set up my ass. <laughs> He's fine. He's just stuck. Oh! <laughs> well, Dominic seems to like it. <laughs> My dad took the kids for ice cream. He said he'd bring something back for you. It was his idea. Well, you know what he's gonna do. He's gonna bring back strawberry ice cream. <laughs> What he doesn't know is when you freeze strawberries, it breaks down the protein so I can eat it. Huh? Who's a doofus now? No one thinks you're a doofus. Now, you want to pull down your pants so I can try to get some of those splinters out again? No. It'll make you feel better. There's only one thing that's going to make me feel better. When your dad gets back, I'm going to tell him he can't come here anymore. Greg, please. I'm caught in the middle here. He's my father. Yeah, Kim, and I'm your husband, and I can only be pushed so far until I start pushing back. I like that. Maybe I should write some of this stuff down. I'm asking you for one favor. Just let it go. He'll be gone tomorrow night. It'll all be over. Oh, no, no, no. He'll be back. He'll be back, all right. He'll get up in the morning and want to mail us a letter, but instead he'll get on a plane. You know why? Because for him, flying here is cheaper than a stamp. I can't believe you're doing this. Well, believe it, because there's a new Greg Warner in town. And he doesn't take any crap. Where's a gosh darn pen? You know I'm in here, right? <laughs> yeah. 
the, what the hell are you doing? Taking a bath. <laughs> the guest house only has a shower. I'm sorry, it's just been a long time since we had freeloaders. <laughs> Dude, wh what are you doing arguing with your wife about Don anyways? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think you're making too big a deal out of this. Well, of course you do. Don likes you. I'm the one he's always messing with, and I'm sick of it. And if he thinks, could you pile some bubbles up in front of you, please? <laughs> well, so he messes with you. Take it as a compliment. What are you talking about? Come on, man. Why do you think he acts this way? It's because he's so threatened by you. What? Look, before you came along, he took care of everybody in this family. Picked up the check at dinner, bought the kids stuff. When Christine and I didn't have enough money to go on our honeymoon, he let us stay in his boat for a weekend. And he didn't come in the garage the entire time. <laughs> so what? I think about it, man. You make more money than he's ever made. You guys all living in a nicer house than he ever had. I mean, ever since you came along, no one asked him for anything. I don't know. It sounds crazy. What is it? What's the first thing he did when you wouldn't let him build the jungle gym? He had to be the big man, fly everyone down to San Diego. Why do you think he likes me so much? I'm guessing it's from breathing jet fuel for 40 years. <laughs> because I'm not a threat to him. Whenever we're together, I let him pay. Every couple of months, I hit him up for a few hundred bucks. And that doesn't bother you? No, because unlike you, I happen to care about our father-in-law's feelings. You see, that's how I give. <laughs> By taking. Well, just so you know, with me, you've given enough. Sometimes I even ask some questions about fixing cars and stuff when I already know the answer, just because it makes him happy. I guess I should have let him help with the jungle gym, huh? You don't need to compete with him. You've already won. Hmm. You know, Jimmy, sometimes you're a lot smarter than anyone gives you credit for. Hey, you want to get in here with me and totally freak out our wives? Dad? What? You... you washed your hands, didn't you? Wash my hands? I'm feeding them. I'm not operating on them. <laughs> Look, Dad, Greg and I were just upstairs talking. And... Hey, Don, there you are. Listen, tomorrow morning, you think you could give me some help with the jungle gym? You need help? Come on, Don. I was trapped under that thing for six hours. <laughs> I just blew my nose and a bug came out. <laughs> I mean, I can't do it without you. What do you say? Be my pleasure, kid, but you gotta get up very early, 6 a.m. I was thinking more like 5. No difference to me. I'm up half the night peeing anyway. <laughs> what was that all about? Well, I thought a lot about what you said, and you were right. Sometimes you just need to be the bigger man. Thank you. 5 a.m., though. Why do you have to get up so early? Well, after we're done, we have to put a bathtub in the guest house. <laughs> Dominic, don't eat that. Put it down. Put it down. Friend looks good. Anybody check to see the bolts are tight? I did. I tightened them all. Jimmy, let me have the wrench. Let me... <laughs> Don, I tightened them. Greg, I'm, I'm sure you think you tightened them, but wouldn't we all feel a little bit better if Don double-checked? Why not? <sighs> Good. <laughs> Let me check the other ones. Dominic, don't eat that. That's a bug, okay? It's gonna make it... That's gradiated. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, now you know what they taste like, okay? Now you think twice before you... Dominic, stop eating the bugs! <laughs> I thought you said you tightened these, Greg. Don, let's be honest. They're not loose. What am I tightening them for? I think we both know why. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just saying, why make a big show pretending you're tightening the bolts? Why don't you just tell me how you feel inside? All right. I feel, uh, that the bolts need tightening. <laughs> no, I'm talking about why you tease me in front of everyone because of what you're going through. What am I going through? Look, Don, I... I know you're feeling vulnerable and scared. I mean, maybe you're threatened because you're afraid I'm the man you used to be. I mean, it's only natural that would make you feel weak and old. I mean, you feel emasculated. I'm the one. I'm the one that took your manhood away. This is 
the way it's supposed to be in a family. The men working together, side by side, helping each other, making each other's lives easier. 